Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry there is Jin with me, so if you hear her breathing really deeply, she's just been a bit too needy today, so she's sticking to my leg. Uh, if you don't know who Jin is, and if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Shweta Vijay. Thank you so much for sticking around in my mad, mad world. I'm a little bit crazy, but uh, I'm really really nice and I also have a crazy dog if you want to know all about my dog then you can hit the card right here her name is Jin we are going to be doing a celebrity makeup uh, the celebrity that I've chosen to do and I've done a couple of them before and most of you have had enjoyed my last one especially that was the Rekha makeup tutorial but today we are going to recreate a Sonali Benbre look during my modeling days I've had a lot of compliments that I kind of resemble her I don't see it but I guess after makeup up, there is a slight resemblance which I used to be so super super excited about I was over the moon every time someone would compliment me that way because um, I was a huge fan like I said of the way that she carried herself and lately with what has happened to her with uh, the sad news that she's affected with uh, the disease that she's affected with which I wish she just battles it and she wins and she just doesn't let that idiotic disease win uh, I'm sending her all my prayers and all my well wishes and I want all of you to do the same and I just want to you know show my love by recreating one of her looks and usually Sonali Bindre's look is all about simplicity it's all about you know just enhancing the features that she has she has beautiful eyes she's got the cutest smile she's just a beauty so we are going to try and recreate one of this look right here i'm inserting the picture and if you want to see exactly how to achieve this look then let's get started so sonali benre's makeup is always about that flawless skin <laughs> i can only dream about that but we shall try to cover up whatever is happening on my face at the very moment so i'm going to start off with the pack pore professional primer this primer has got a little bit of a silicone gel so for me to just control my oil secretion that is happening on my skin during summertime I apply this plenty on my t-zone area one thing that I've learned from many makeup artists that works for Bollywood uh, films especially during my modeling days as well as when I attended Shan's uh, makeup uh, masterclass basically the one thing that they mentioned was that for the big screen, they don't go overboard with their highlighter. They try to make it as matte, but they give, you know, dimension by contouring the face, you know, so that it has a little bit of a structure. So to make it as natural as possible, yet matte, I'm going to take my matte clay skin clarifying foundation from the body shop. I'm in the shade Nutmeg 055 and I really like it. When I first got this foundation, I hated it. Okay, it just was too matte for me because it used to turn into a powder thing. But if you take a wet sponge and you nicely dab it and you really work on your skin with it, it, it is really one of those perfect foundation for summertime. I'm going to dab it with my finger first and then take a damp beauty sponge. I'm just going to pat it, alright? And then I take my next matte finish uh, setting spray and I just spray it all over my face I just slowly dab and I take my time I really do using my favorite concealer concealer defined by makeup revolution hit the card right here to find out my top recommendations from makeup revolution and revolution pro I've taken the shade 10.5 and C11 which if you are my skin tone, this is your perfect, perfect shade. C11. And just a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy. I have to get a new one because this is over. This is the only concealer I keep applying. What I'm also going to do is just a little bit around my mouth area because South Asian women suffer from a bit of a pigmentation around the mouth area. And you see that how well it blends it just smells man beautiful so now i'm going to do a brightening well i won't say a brightening concealer this is 10.5 which is kind of like my perfect shade we are going to bake the face and i'm going to be using the huda beauty banana bread i'm going to pinch my nose really really well just to make it more sharper because that's if you see Sonali Bendre's features they're very very sharp 
Now it's time for some eye makeup and I'm using my favorite eyeshadow palette, this is the Jaclyn Hill. And if you've seen Sonali's makeup, most of it was a very soft, uh, smoky glam that she always carried off. A very light wigged eyeliner and even on the lower lash line, there was more of a nude pencil that was going on. So let's try to achieve that, shall we? So I'm going to apply this beautiful nude color called Silk Cream all over my eyelids with a thick brush. I'll extend it all the way till my eyebrows as well. This will also act like a wonderful setting powder. Okay, now that is over, I'm gonna take something that is slightly darker to the Silk Cream. It's another brown toned warm shadow and this is called Pooter. I'm going to pat Pooter and extend that to the inner corner, just on the crease. I'm just going to pat it. Now I'm taking the next tone brown eyeshadow right here that's got a bit of a red undertone. If you see her eye makeup closely, you can see there's a slight browny red undertone that's going on on the crease. And just right here, I'm going to deepen that crease line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a contour shade, this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow in Medium Dark from Charlotte Tilbury. You can use any bronzing powder and I'm just going to tap that and gently put that across my eyelids like this. Just sweep it through. This gives a bit of a warmth to the eye and it looks as natural as possible. And right here on the center of the lids, if you look really closely, she had a bit of a cream kind of a highlighting eyeshadow. Okay, it didn't have any glitter, glimmer, nothing. So I'm just going to take a highlighter. And I love this highlighter from PAC 03, baked highlighter. And just a little bit right on the center, I'm going to apply that. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Brow Pencil and I'm going to define my eyebrows as well as hers. If you see Sonali Bindre's makeup, though it was back even in the 90s, you would notice that in the 90s, 80s, 90s, it was all about the thin eyebrows, but she had a well-defined eyebrows. Not too thick, not too thin, it was just perfect. I have thin eyebrows, so I have to really work properly on this. I'm just going to brush this baked powder because it's been five minutes or so and I don't like to bake more than that. Now we shall draw a winged eyeliner and like I said in her natural look it was not about the dramatic wing. I'm just going to go as close to my lash line as possible. I'm going to smoke that out. But I'm going to put these natural lashes because Sonali always had natural lashes on. She had artificial lashes on for sure. I'll be right back. So Sonali Bendre's lower lashes is all about that nude eye pencil. I'm going to take this brown eyeshadow called Chip. I'm going to smoke it out. Just below the lash line. Right here. Now I'm going to take Rose Neutral from Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to apply that on my lash line. This makes Sonali's eyes a lot more brighter and a lot more open. So now that the eye makeup is over, I'm going to take the Filmstar Bronze and Glow and I'm just going to contour my face because she had a very subtle contour going on. And I'm going to add that right here because her face is so beautifully chiseled. I've got a bit of a chubby face and I'm just going to dab that right here. And I'm going to slightly make my nose even more sharper now because i put that baking powder it has already pinched my nose but i'm just going to go very subtle with it now she didn't have much of a highlighter just a very subtle one and i'm just going to add that right here i'm not going extra with it i'm just adding a little bit of a dimension but what i'm going to do if you've seen her facial structure She's got a little bit of a dip right here on the chin and she emphasizes a little more of that with a contour. So that's what I'm going to do. So first I'll contour my jawline. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a chin dimple. I'm also going to take my Etude House Cherry Pie Blush, which is a soft pink color. I'm gonna smile and pop this right here. 
Now, Sonali has a beautiful, well-defined lips, which she uses a darker lip liner just to outline her lips, and then she blends it well with a beautiful nude lipstick. She always goes for a nude lipstick. So I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to take my perfect nude lip pencil. This is Lacey Luck. And right on the center, another favorite nude. That's the trendsetter from Huda Beauty. So guys, this is the makeup tutorial. I am channeling an inner Ham Saath Saath Hai Sonali Bendre with a middle partition, a little black bindi, small little jhumka, a dupatta, and that's it, you guys. This is how simple she carried her makeup. So this is also a beautiful makeup look for anybody who loves to wear Indian outfit, doesn't want too much of makeup going on their face, but wants to enhance their feature. This can be your everyday makeup look, or this can also be a makeup look that you can carry for any of your parties or get together. So yeah, that ends my makeup video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. So guys, do leave me your feedback on the next film stars makeup that I should recreate. Leave your feedback in the comment section, and I shall see you when I see you. Bye, my loves. <laughs>